This is the radio I'm going to use, the Crosley E10BE, and the oscillator circuit is in the very first section of this radio, the 12BE6, the very first tube. And if you look below that tube, you'll see an oscillator coil. And the cathode is hooked up to the primary, which goes to ground. And the secondary, if you follow that up through a capacitor, it goes to the control grid of that tube. This is the 12BE6, and there's no heater sh shown in this wiring diagram. But of course, all, all the tubes have heaters, and what the heater does is it heats up the cathode so the cathode can emit electrons, and pin two is the cathode. Pin one is the control grid, and notice its proximity to the cathode. It's right next to it. So it has the most control over the amount of electrons passing through it, the more negative the control grid is, the less electrons pass through from the cathode to the plate. These two grids uh, are part of the mixing process. Pin seven is the signal coming from the antenna, in other words, the radio station frequency. Pin six is held positive, and we have two grids there that are held positive that helps pull electrons from the cathode, but it also helps mix the signal from the oscillator and the radio station. This grid is connected directly to the cathode, so it is negative. And what that's for is Sometimes electrons can bounce off the plate rather than being absorbed. And what that grid does, it forces those electrons that bounce off back to the plate. And this is the plate. It is positive, and in this radio, the 12BE6 plate voltage is 96 volts. Here I am showing this tube functioning, and the blue is the elect on the cathode are the electrons trying to get past the control grid, which I am showing with a very large negative sign on the left. And if the control grid becomes less negative or more positive, we get electrons moving through the grid to the plate of the 12BE6. And if it is even less negative, we have a lot more electrons traveling from the cathode to the plate. Here's the oscillator circuit. If you take a look at the control grid, I have several negative signs there. That's representing how negative the control grid is. And if you take a look at the cathode pin two, we got a large negative sign there, and that's going to represent how many electrons are leaving the cathode and traveling to the plate. And below, the cathode down to the oscillator coil, you'll see that the, on the primary side, the magnetic field is beginning to expand as this tube warms up. And it starts to cut across the secondary. And if you take a look at what happened at the control grid, it's becoming less negative 
And what happened to the cathode is it's releasing more electrons. And this continues. The magnetic field is making the control grid less negative and the cathode can release more electrons. And it gets up to this point and it can't go any farther. We only have so much voltage to work with. And when that happens, the magnetic field starts to collapse. And when that happens, that's making the control grid more negative. And the cathode is now releasing less electrons to the plate. Let's take a look at what this variable capacitor does in this oscillator circuit. This capacitor is part of the tank circuit. You can see that it is across the secondary of the oscillator coil. Here's one of those capacitors that's in that type of radio. And this side is for the antenna. This side is for the oscillator. And you can see that the oscillator is smaller. This is the antenna. Okay, and here we'll turn this in all the way. And the meter says uh, 478 picofarad. About. And that'll go down to about 16. Okay, let's turn this all the way back up and move it over to the oscillator. Okay, its highest is, yeah, settle down here, about 165 picofarad. Let's turn it so it's the least and it's about 22 picofarad. I have the scope hooked up to pin one of the 12BE6 and I have the radio uh, with the knob turned to the lowest frequency of the radio and now I'm going to start turning and you can see that the frequency is increasing There's the station. Okay. And that's as high as it goes. It'll go all the way back down. all the way back down. Thanks for watching.